Hello everybody, my name is Stardust0123 and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Series. Almost just said Star Plays Minecraft. Because that is one series I haven't visited in a very long time and I don't really plan on actually revisiting. So, what are we going to do this episode? Well, we are going to continue our land digging operations, which may get insanely boring, insanely fast, unless I figure out some super simple way to entertain you guys, maybe with, like, trivia games or something. Nah, I, I don't know, maybe I could talk about politics and bore you all to death. N no, I think politics are interesting myself, but, uh, again, I don't know what you guys think, and I, I don't feel like offending everybody today, so... I think uh, you guys can go talk about politics in your own spare time in the comment section below because that appears to be where you guys like to talk about things like that and argue. Though uh, the general uh, consensus seems that the series is uh, okay. You guys don't leave very many comments, but uh, that's okay. As long as you just leave a few uh, and just tell me that uh, what to do or going along. I'm totally cool with that. I'm looking for iron now. Yeah, I have iron. And some sticks so I can make myself a... Uh, iron shovel, which may or may not be a very bad thing. I'm not actually sure what the pluses and, and uh, benefits, the pluses and the minuses of stone versus iron shovels are. I know iron's faster, but it probably, like, gets used up faster because you can do more stuff with it. Therefore, stone, like, psychologically uh, feels better because it takes, uh, or lasts for a longer amount of time. Shovels are a really weird thing in Minecraft that, uh, you'll never understand. Uh, only if we could dig stuff this fast in real life, man. Like, uh, engineering would be a breeze. Digging stuff out that fast. What is happening to the water? Oh, that's that's called, um... These things were probably not optimized for the Seuss pack, and it's kind of freaking it out right now. I'm not sure why this water is such a different color. I'm being shot at right now. Um, not actually sure where. But I assume that, yeah, there's a skeleton down there. I was right. Uh, is that a skeleton over there? Something's over there. That's a sheep, I think. Whoa, stop shooting me. Yo, wow, you just made me miss really bad. Oh, it died. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, didn't expect that to happen today, so I guess it is dead. That's that's great. Everything looks so weird with the, uh, the shader pack on. I've been using the shader pack. I've actually opted to uh, disable the motion blur. You guys have probably noticed that. Um, just because... Motion Blur was causing a bit of an FPS drop that was not uh, suitable for me to play. Once you uh, get used to playing at like 60 FPS, you kind of get a bit spoiled. And uh, then when you start to get down like 18, it just becomes mildly unbearable to play with. And you just don't want to, don't have to handle that anymore. As you can probably hear in my voice, I am still, uh, still pretty sick. Now, I'm not sure I'm sick, it's just allergies. And it's still bothering me, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just, uh, hope allergy season is over relatively quick this year. I know, like, what was that? Um, I think that is sort of part of our base, maybe. Uh, I don't think so, but we're gonna have to, uh, to figure that out at some point. Though it, it could also be the, um, the, uh, the cave that kind of surrounds the underground base. It's probably that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's my thing. So that'll be a breeze to think around. I just uh, I always want to entertain you guys with uh, some interesting or uh, a new method. Um, so I think today we're going to talk about uh, orbital decay. You know, that's a very interesting thing to talk about. So if you didn't know, uh, orbital decay is when things fall out of an orbit around the planet due to uh, usually um, oxygen, not oxygen, like air, air resistance, wind resistance. I'm not sure how you guys want to say it. Some of you are probably British, some of you are Russian. Uh, you all probably have different names for it. I call it air resistance because, uh, it's air. I guess that's the correct term to use. Uh, so yes, uh, things in orbit naturally will decay over time. Uh, things like the moon and, uh, satellites. The ISS, uh, the International Space Station, if you're not familiar with those initials or that acronym. Uh, the IS. Oh, crap! Uh, um is uh is slowly actually falling out of an orbit uh every month every day actually just just oh wow uh it's just man i'm uh getting a little bit uh trapped by zombies here uh okay we're gonna have a nerd pull up uh yep okay crap there's a creeper right there um that's not good oh we just fell again uh now i'm really now i died Wow, that was one unfortunate fall and one unfortunate loss. So now we gotta find our way back. 
Uh, I actually have no idea which direction I left in my uh, in my first episode. Um, this feature isn't helping me out a particular much right now. Uh, I have a feeling I need a little bit of a better computer to do that. Uh, maybe like a couple uh, a couple hundred digits ahead in the uh, in the GTX series. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, crap, is this mountain visible? I could have swore this mountain was visible. I kind of want to go this direction and see if I find anything. Um, man, I, I don't think it's this way. I don't ever actually recall there being a river over to where my house was. This is unfortunate. Um, I really need to figure out where all that stuff was. Yeah, and my FPS is back down to 20 again because that just appears to happen when you uh, when you play with fancy dancy sh shader packs. Of course, I, I just might stop using the shader pack altogether. Um, I wish I would have left myself some sort of a beacon or something, which way I left. Man, there's so many mountains out here that look exactly the same. What is that over here? Um, oh, that looks like somebody's house I know of. Uh, mine, actually. Uh, I hope I can make this jump, otherwise it's going to be very embarrassing. Okay, I made it. And what's the fastest way to get over there? It's probably going to be walking, obviously, but um, I'm going to determine which side I want to do it on. It's probably going to be this side. That was probably the most unexpected thing that has ever happened to me. I was talking about orbital decay, and the next thing I know, I am in a cave trying to get my way out. And then a creeper blew me apart, and then I proceeded to scream. Oh no, I don't think I remember the screaming part. But um, all I know is that things didn't go good from there. And uh, I should start talking about orbital decay again. So yes, if you didn't know, uh, the ISS is slowly falling out of orbit every single day. Uh, because of uh, air resistance, a very small amount, but uh, if you don't actually maintain or you boost up the space station every once in a while, it will actually decay out of an orbit and re-enter Earth's atmosphere, like in the movie Gravity. Uh, and that would not be good, because in the movie Gravity, lots of people die, and lots of stuff happens. Uh, it's a very interesting movie, actually. I don't want to ruin it for you if you uh, if you haven't seen it. I th I thought I personally thought it was an amazing movie. Uh, everyone else didn't seem to think that. I loved it. It was just amazing. Gravity, uh, the whole thing getting stuck. Okay, I uh, don't need to tell you about that. You can go see the uh, the movie trailer for yourself. I hope they don't actually advertise on this. No, it's a, it's a bit too late to be uh, advertising theatrical uh, posters, considering the movie came out earlier this year. Oh uh, wait, this year or was that last year? I don't remember. Man, I'm getting my times all mixed up. So yes. Anyway, about orbital decay, the reason I brought that up is because today I was reading an article from some people who uh, are totally convinced that uh, space is, uh, or like space isn't real. Um, I guess you could consider these people to be uh, super conservative, maybe? Uh, that might be a bit of a politically, politically incorrect thing to say. Uh, let's just say they were not um, scientifically advanced in any way. Uh, they appeared to not really understand how physics actually worked. So, um... You just kind of got to start assuming things. And I kind of just came to the assumption that they really had no idea what they were talking about. And people who tend to think that the moon landing was faked are pretty much the same people who really fail physics class. So yes, they were saying, um, the ISS, or like so, like an astronaut dropped like a wrench or so, like a player aboard the SS, ISS out into space. And, uh, and NASA said that this would fall out of orbit. And the people there were like, well, how would it fall out of orbit, you know? Like, it's in space, you know? Like, orbiting around the planet. And if you don't understand uh, orbital mechanics, it seems like a very simple thing to you, you know? Like, uh, it's in space, there's nothing pushing it back down. Why would it fall out? And if you understand physics, uh, you'll realize that the, uh, is the wrench or the players is coming across a very, very small amount of air and this is causing it to fall black to the planet at a very alarmingly slow rate. This is the uh, same reason that um, uh, some other space stations like Skylab and communication satellites seem to like fall down every other day now, considering the amount of stuff we have laying around. So the, f so the atmosphere doesn't really end at any point. Uh, it's just only just gets thinner and thinner until it's kind of like uh, negligent. You know, like, once you get out, like, halfway to the moon, like, you don't really don't gotta bother with it that much, because, like, it's hardly even there. And once you get out to the moon, it's, it's basically not there. Actually, the, uh, the moon is on a orbit which will take it, uh, out of our, uh, our planet's control, which is gonna be something unfortunate, because our, uh, our great, great, like, t times 20,000 grandchildren will get to enjoy the moon like we once did. 
And that's going to be unfortunate, because the moon is something we can all look up at right now, and we all see the same thing. Well, I mean, so, sort of. You, you understand what I mean, guys, yeah. Um, I, I hope you do, at least. If you look up at the moon, you, you see the, the man in the moon? No? Anybody see that? It's, it's actually not that easy to see. You kind of really have to make that metaphor work for you, in whatever way possible. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So that's down. Uh, I think I'm going to go take a nap downstairs in the basement. Because where else of a place to take a nap than a basement? There we go. Zero one two three was slain by a zombie. That is the story of my life. I get slain by a lot of zombies. Creepers like to blow me to pieces as well. That seems to happen way more than it should. So yeah, I somehow turned a, uh, a small session of uh, digging and walking into a quick lesson on orbital mechanics, even though I've never taken a physics class myself. Uh, it's been me just because I played Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program doesn't accurately represent that. <coughs> so, yeah, I feel like I'm missing something. Well, I got my pickaxe here. Where's my shovel at? I'm not sure where my shovel is. Did I lose my shovel? Did I seriously lose my shovel? Is it still down there? Is that a creeper? That's a creeper. Um, I got a battle axe. That might help. Uh, about a bow and arrow. I got a couple bows. No, just one bow, but a couple arrows. Uh, oh, I sort of got it. Oh crap, it's coming towards me. Oh, 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 oh. What the? Oh, crap. Whew, that was close. Um, talk about things that scare you half to death. Uh, that was one of them. I was not expecting that. Okay, we need to go back down. And so, crap. What? Where are these skeletons? There's that skeleton. Jeez, man, you guys were already instigating my uh, Star Plays Minecraft series. You really need to stay out of my my uh, my survival series. It's just not the place for skeletons to be. Um, let's see, it might have fallen down this hole, but I don't even see a bottom to it. I'm kind of talking over my microphone. I'm sorry about that. It's, I'm sitting in my chair a really strange way. There's a creeper down there. Uh, I don't think it sees me yet. Um. No, I don't see my shovel. I do see a, a baby zombie, though, like, running towards me at an alarming rate. Uh, trying to immediately evacuate from that bad situation. Uh, I guess we'll just count the shovel as a loss, then. And we'll begin to, um, kind of moan. Not moan, that's a really weird word to use for that. Mourn over the loss of that particular thing. So, yeah, I think we can uh, begin to maybe assemble the wall just a little bit. Uh, maybe just put like a base outline for it on. Uh, it doesn't have to be that big of a place, just uh, somewhere that I can reasonably. Spider, what are you doing? Spider. What are you doing? Okay, fine. You get to die then. You get to die. You legitimately get to die. Good for you. I didn't put my armor back on. Uh, yeah, I want to come out a couple more with that. Uh, I just don't want it to be too large. I don't want it to be too small. It's going to be somewhere of like in between, a little bit of a mix. That, that sounds kind of weird when I say it. Ooh, cool, we can like kind of see the sun through the leaves. Um, sort of, but not really. So yeah, um, I think that is a, it's a pretty interesting episode then. Uh, we don't ever get too much done in this series. We kind of just sit around and talk about uh, things that are really strange all day. I'm not doing this because I need wood. I'm doing this because I need this stuff cleared. So yeah, um... <laughs> I guess that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, the next episode, hopefully I'm going to clear out more of this and actually get some more stuff done. Uh, we at least did start laying out the, uh, the outline for the walls, and we uh, accidentally died, which was uh, kind of a, a twist. Oh, look at that. That looks kind of nice all the way out there. We got all that. Okay, okay well, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this episode, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.